Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Edwin, what does the higher self want? I mean, what, what does it want from us? What does it want to do with us or, or through us? Uh, it just wants you to be more you. I mean, when a lot of, like the secret, they say, oh, uh, you know, you can manifest all these things, but they want the whole thing comes down to who is the you? It's mm -hmm. not the physical being. It's not the, even the conscious mind. The true you is the higher self. So the higher self is the one that's been orchestrating your life, you know, since you've been on this planet. And in, in those times when, when you have synchronicities, that's an example where you're in tune with your higher self because your higher self arranged your entire life. And when you're thinking of something or someone, and suddenly, if they appear, that's your higher self had orchestrated it for that person to appear. And now that you're in sync with your higher self, that's when the synchronicity actually occurs. So your higher self wants you to be joyful, happy, to experience life to the fullest. And basically, it's been trying to guide you to do that. And as long as you get out of the way and allow it to come through, then the true you will appear. What? blocks that um, because I think a lot of people uh, want that here. I mean, this is one of the big things that, that we share at UAuth Revolution so much, this truth. Um, but what keeps it from from really materializing for most people? Right. Well, very often it's just these discordant energies you've been subjected to. You know, we're, we live in a world that there's a lot of stress and strife and, and you know, it can be a tough environment in, in some cases. It's helping you to build your spiritual muscles and develop your willpower, and, and there are some benefits to these hardships that you go through. But some of this discord energy is, is meant to keep you from connecting with your higher self. And if we can go a little bit more out there, I mean, there's a paradigm battle being fought on our, on our world today between those that, like, your followers, you, the people that want everyone to connect with their higher self, the ones that are in service to others, that want everyone to be happy, joyful, blissful, connecting in a world with, without strife, where everyone gets food, shelter, and able to pursue their, their own joy. And there are people that, in many cases, are at the top of the food chain that don't want that to happen. And so they put blocks in. They, they subject you to, to negative uh, movies, media, all sorts of things to keep you from attaining that. Because if they can put you into a state of fear, <clears throat> then you're going to have a hard time getting to that higher self. Uh, pe people understand the concept of left and right brain. Yes. When you're in fear, when you're in fear, you will automatically go to whatever your dominant hemisphere is. And the ideal yeah. way to get to the higher states of consciousness is when both hemispheres are in sync, everything's working together, and you the most direct path toward toward God, toward enlightenment toward the blissful connection with your higher self. <clears throat> so it's, there's a battle, the paradigm battle is between people that are trying to induce fear in the world to keep you from getting there and the people that want to have everyone connected with their higher self. And so you know, the, the world is, in many cases, a lot of the mainstream stuff that's going on is not meant to help you connect with your higher self. So as, as I like to say, if you don't watch the news, you'll be uninformed. If you watch the news, you'll be misinformed. Mm. Yeah. So turn off that boob tube. <laughs> Start <laughs> meditating and hanging out in nature. Yes. Now, this brings up a big question. You say, you know, meditate, hang out in nature. And I say that a lot, too. Um, you perform energy healing. 
what is the difference between, let's say, being in a state of, of bliss or feeling good or feeling calm, let's say, from a meditation, but then actually receiving an energetic healing? Okay. Med- meditation is when you're, like you say, you're still in your mind. You, you go to a place where your objective senses are not going to be influenced. You know, typically you go to a place, you know, the, the five objective senses. It's very hard to meditate at a rock concert, for example, because you got sounds, lights, noise. You don't want to be in a place like that. You want to be in a quiet place where you can go within and retract from the external senses and go within to your inner senses. Each of your five regular senses has an inner sense. So that's where you want to go, where you want to meditate. And meditation, to me, means you know connecting with your own higher self, ultimately God. So that's what you want to do. That's meditation. Now, once you're connected with that higher being, your own higher self, you want to bring that energy down to earth and be able to share it with the world. That's your sole mission on earth, to be able to do that. And so, indirectly, anyone who's connected with their higher self, once they start bringing that energy down and sharing it with the world, they're performing energy clearing. They're helping the entire world to move up, to become a better place. And so, I just kind of formalized the process of opening up this portal where I bring in the higher energies and send it right in to where it can be used by, by individual people or groups, and as we'll, we'll do later today. Yes, we are going to be helping uh, some folks today and uh, moving people through. When you look at uh, someone's energy field like mine, do you see, uh, well, I should ask, what does it look like uh, just in general? Do you see where the blockages are, or do you just see uh, little bits of interference that you pull out and remove and release? Right. My primary uh, inner sense that I rely on is clairsentience. So I okay. feel things more than see them or hear them. You know, Occasionally I, I will see and hear things as well if it's important enough, <clears throat> and especially if I need information from you know, my own higher self or higher beings, I'll, I'll hear them. But when I send energy to someone, the first step is I just open up the portal. I send massive amounts of this higher vibrational energy to the person. So they're just inundated. They're immersed in this, this love. Okay. And then I just start using my hand and pulling it out. <clears throat> and I can tell how how uh, afflicted they are by how much stuff comes off them. And, and people, especially ones that come might come regularly, I'll see from week to week, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're much better this week than last week. Oh, no, you're, uh. what happened? Oh, oh. This, something bad happens. <clears throat> and so I'll take that off. And then, you know, there's a number of other steps, but the other two main ones are where I open up the crown in a kind of specialized way that allows me to pull out the mental trash. And again, come up, then I, I kind of step up the vibration so I'm feeling at the mental level of what the person's going through. <clears throat> and I'll pull out that mental trash and throw it away. And that oftentimes is enough to just gives them a clarity of mind that they didn't have before. And lastly, when I go to their higher self and I, when I do a formal clearing, I'll flush away any pain, trauma from this or any other lifetime. I'll get rid of emotional triggers, anything they no longer need, anything that's not for their highest and best good. And one of the things that I, that I also take away, if there are any, are any non-physical entities that uh, in some cases are bugging people. <laughs> any people that are trying to do you know, good work, they get afflicted yes. uh, by these negative entities. And that's kind of my specialty. And I have some very good news for everyone on the call. The only reason that I even talk about negative entities now, it's only been in the last six months or so that I've actually publicly started talking about it, is because I didn't want to have people start worrying about something else. Oh, oh no, just one more thing to worry about. <clears throat> but the reason that I'm willing to talk about them now is because these negative entities have been reduced from the astral planes you know, in our world by over 99% in the last six months. Really? Maybe nine months now. Yes. So there's less and less of these entities around to afflict people, and the ones that are, well, at least if I remove them, they never come back. Uh, and But there are, some of my protégés are also doing this kind of work as well. They're taking these negative entities out of people and making it so that they never afflict anyone again. Mm-hmm. And very often, uh, it's, it's rare now that I come across people with entities. Well, not rare. I wouldn't say rare, but it's much, much less common. Uh, and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second 
and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.